Okay, so this is part two of the uh, Atahualpa styling and configuration tutorial. We've just installed a new banner image. And uh, what I want to do now is two things. First of all, I want to re remove the left and the right transparency areas. Uh, you can leave them if you want. They're intended to sync nicely with the, you know, with the lower sidebar. Um, but I just find them, they, they don't really work with this particular layout. And then we're going to overlay our blog title and tagline on top of the banner image. Now you could also uh, put your banner text uh, inside the banner image, of course. I, I, I personally prefer overlaying the text. It gives you a little bit more search engine um, uh, keyword, um, uh, keyword status there. So let's get back to the admin and let's go to uh, style and edit header area. And then actually header image is the one that we want for, for now. Rotate header images with JavaScript. That's to create an automatically rotating header image. In this case, we won't because we only have one. Um, I do like to set the header image clickable at header image height if it's different than 150. And this is the field that we want. Um, header image opacity left. Let's uh, width set it to zero and header image opacity right width set it to zero. We also want to overlay the blog title over the header image and we want to overlay the blog tagline over the header image. Um, we want to style the uh, blog title and tagline. Uh, this is a illustration uh, of the very powerful CSS styling options of Atahualpa. So um, if we want to move it a little bit right, so let's put the margin left for the title at I would say about 200 pixels, to say 200 pixels, and let's save that. So now I just refresh the site, and uh, you notice that the uh, the title and the tagline now is showing on top of the um, uh, of, of the banner area. The color isn't bright. We want it um, a bright white to be visible against the blue background. So let's go back into the uh, header options. I'm also going to position it a little bit more right than it is now. Let's put a margin left of 250 and we're going to need a bit more width than that. Let's put a, a width of, if it starts at 250 and it goes up to 1000, uh, it can definitely go up to 600 width. So save that. Notice the other thing that's nice about Atahualpa, all the CSS options it gives you either defaults or suggestions. So you really don't need to know CSS. Um, if you want to go back to the default settings, you make a mistake, a mistake and your site gets screwed up, just click on this reset settings and it will reset only the settings of the current page. So you don't have to worry about losing all your other settings. So let's go back to the header area. And here's, here's where you change the, the color of the overlay blog title, I'm just going to say uh, color white. Oh no, never mind. A blog title color is down here. You can select it from the um, color wheel here. I'll just say uh, enter the color white, which is 0000, zero, 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 zero uh, sorry, excuse me, uh, FF, FF, FF. That's a six, that's a color code for white. Um, we'll put the blog hub, cover, um, hover color also as white. We'll do the same for the tagline. In, in the case of the tagline, we're just going to say color white down in the CSS. There's not a separate CSS setting. setting. And um, that looks about right. We'll save that. And here we are. We'll refresh the site. Um, you could also increase the font size. Uh, you could uh, increase the, the width between uh, these lines just by, by changing CSS. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put in a nice background and uh, we'll leave the center page and the sidebars in white. So let's see if we can find, I like this nice blue, light blue uh, color that's um, on, the, um, on the background of the Atahualpa admin here. So let's just pick that up, go under Colorzilla, which is a Firefox add-in. 
go into eyedropper, click on that color, and then write down the color value in the lower left here. It's giving me an E4, F2, FD. So we just change the background color here in this first pane, body text and links, as E4, F2, FD. While we're at it, uh, let's change the default link color to blue. I'm a bit of a traditionalist in that way. De link hover color red is fine. Link default decoration underline, link hover decoration underline, and link text not bold. And we'll save this. And we'll refresh. Okay, so let's put the blue background every way, but everywhere. But notice that it's not put it in the uh, right sidebar. So we could put a slightly different color in the right sidebar if you wanted to, or you could just remove the color in the right sidebar and replace it with something else. So let's just make it a little gray just for the sake of contrast. I actually like this color here. So let's right click Colorzilla Eyedropper. I get an EE, 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 sort of a um, very light gray. So we'll go back to Atahualpa theme options. In this case, we're going to do style and configure sidebars. We were just there a minute ago, but we're just gonna go a little bit further into the CSS here, uh, into where it says style the right sidebar. And just change this background to the um, EE, EE, EE for the right sidebar. You could also insert a background image. Uh, you know, this is only limited by your imagination and by your knowledge of CSS. And now let's save that and re uh, refresh. Okay, you know, site is beginning to look um, semi-presentable. Um, I think I'm going to um, put the, um, we've got, first of all, we gotta put the center page back to white and then I'm gonna make this uh, page navigation black in white lettering, and I think I'm gonna take out both the top and the bottom bar one. So uh, to configure the center column color, all you have to do is style and configure layout. Layout is the layout container, that's the, the, the page container that excludes the, uh, you know, the background uh, of the, um, of the site, the browser background, and just go under here, uh, layout container style, we're just gonna put background, um, we wanted it white, so that's, uh, we could just say white, or we could put um, FF, FFFF, F, F, F. we'll save that. I said I wanted to uh, remove the, the two bars, so that's under, at least that's header area. We'll just take out the bar one and the bar two. They're no longer needed because we're gonna put that page nav bar in a black background and white lettering. And we're gonna style the page menu bar here. Now home link and page menu bar, you're typically gonna wanna remove this because uh, most um, static websites or business websites already have a page called home. Otherwise, you're going to duplicate the, um, the, the home page link in the, in the, in the navigation bar. Uh, next thing you're going to want to do is um, background color. Let's set that to, to black. Uh, background color hover. Let's set that to white. And the background color parent, we'll set that to white. This, uh, this only affects um, drop down menus, but you know, better to be on the safe side. And I'm going to increase that font size. It's too small. We're going to set it to 13, 14 pixels. And the link color also in white. And the link cover color also is white. And um, transform text and menu bar. No, I'll just leave it as it is. Let's capitalize it. And um, the rest we can just leave as default. Let's refresh the site, see what we got. Okay, we have a black navigation bar with white letters. It's starting to look a little better.